start out with the carbs. So the carbs, so any of the food in here, it all the teeth or the chew it. Just using my chemical digestion. And then after it's chewed a bit, broken down the smaller parts to increase the surface area. The salivary glands in these three spaces drain saliva that has salivary amylase in it to help break down the enzymes. I mean, use the enzymes to break down the carbs and then moisten the food. So from there, it goes into the pharynx right about here. And then, since the trachea goes to the respiratory system, uh, the food will be put into the esophagus right here. And then, using paracelsis, uh, the esophagus pushes the moist food down all the way up until here. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the food will come down to here, where this is the esophageal sphincter right here, and that lets the food in. There, the bacteria will be killed, as well as the salivary amylase, which is on the carbohydrates right now. Uh, the only digestion that happens is mechanical digestion, and then they'll break down the carbs. And it'll slowly go to the pyloric sphincter, and that will lead to the duodenum of the liver. Okay, so when we're in the duodenum, the pancreas right here, it makes pancreatic amylase, and then it shoots it into the duodenum, which is in the top of the small intestine. So from there, it just moves through the small intestine, is dying, digesting more and more, uh, breaking down slowly towards the monosaccharides. And then in the second half, in the second in the second part of the small intestine, there's the brush board of enzymes, and this is the last minute digestion where it'll break down the food into its smallest form. So, in this case, since it's a carb, it breaks down the smallest form, which is a monosaccharide right here. It's a little carbon chain with a bunch of oxygen and high, high hydroxides on it. It's in its smallest form of monosaccharide. Um, the glucose which is also the monosaccharide, diffuses into the capillaries from the small intestine. And once uh, the monosaccharide is uh, diffused into the bloodstream, uh, digestion is over. And then any of the extra waste that was not collected will be brought into the large intestine and taken through all the way down to the rectum, through the rectum and then out the anus as waste. Second uh, food group are fats. So, uh, once fats are eaten, uh, the teeth use mechanical digestion to break down the fats and by chewing. So, they chew it, break it down, increase the surface area a little. And the uh, salivary glands here, they create salivary lipase, which is a, a fat digesting enzyme. So, it uh, helps moisten it a little and uh, break it down a little bit. But uh, lipids are like fat like molecules and they don't break down or dissolve in, each, uh, in water. So those kind of stick together down your body, so they kind of glue together. And then from there, uh, the pharynx decides that it should go in the esophagus because it's not air, so uh, it goes on the esophagus and the muscles push it all the way down, um, all the way around until. And then here, we'll pop the new esophagus together and actually in the stomach with very little digestion. Uh, it's uh, chemical digestion and as well as a little bit of digestion with the mulching of the food. And from there, the power of the will open up and let it go into the duodenum. From there, uh, since the gallbladder stores the bile made from the liver, uh, the bile gets shot into the duodenum, which um, the only thing it really does is increase the surface area of it. So it'll kind of help separate the, the lipids into little um, more, um, smaller molecules with a higher surface area. So the pan pancreas makes pancreatic lipase, which gets shot into the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine. And since the gallbladder created a bigger surface area for the fat, the pancreatic lipase uh, helps break that down into free fatty acids and monoglycerin. So from there, um, it goes through the small intestine and then it gets absorbed into the microvilli. 
where um, it comes in as a, a monoglyceride, which is uh, right here, a monoglyceride. But then it is kind of assembled into a groups of three, so they get assembled into triglycerides, and then they're coated in protein and turned into chylomicrons. So these chylomicrons, um, they're coated in protein because the fat is sticky and you don't want it to stick throughout your blood, so it's coated in the protein. And then with those chylomicrons that help with cell membranes, make main sheets inside the body and are used as an alternate fuel source. And then it's brought into the large intestine and goes through to the rectum and on the anus as waste. So our third group is protein. So protein is when, when you put it into your mouth and you start eating it. And there's mechanical digestion that happens with the chewing. And then there's chemical digestion when the salivatory glands create salivatory protease. And that moistens the food. So then here, the food comes to the pharynx, and that decides whether it goes down the trachea to the lungs or down the esophagus. And since it's food, it goes down to the stomach, down the esophagus. And since the salivary uh, protease may moisten the food, it easily goes down the esophagus as well. All the way to the stomach. So from there, it goes into the esophageal sphincter into the stomach. And then there's a little bit of mechanical digestion that happens in the stomach for contracting, but not much. So the main part of the stomach is that the stomach has pepsin, which is an enzyme for protein. So pepsin breaks down the, the peptide bonds, so it breaks these down into smaller chains called polypeptides. And from the stomach, uh, the polypeptides are then put uh, through the pylori sphincter into the duodenum. And from there, the pancreas shoots a pancreatic pro protease into the duodenum, and that here is breaking down the protein, and it's going through the small intestine, breaking down the protein, going through brush port and enzymes with the last minute digestion into its smallest form, and then in the second half of the small intestines, it's being absorbed. So this is the smallest form, so these are the amino acids. So uh, it normally has another molecule attached here, but uh, we didn't like make one because... Uh, so this, after, yeah, when it's absorbed in, the amino acids are recombined into like enzymes, antibodies, hormones, collagens, and even muscles. And then brought large intestine up and around to the rectum of the anus.